Would somebody please tell me why my worst nightmare is coming true? These videos are not for children. If you're a children, then piss off. Hey there, it's me, your least favorite YouTuber, V Infuso. Have you ever caught the ending to a show without actually knowing that it was the ending to a show? That's a legitimate question, by the way, so feel free to answer in the comment section below. I genuinely want to know because that's not only something I've done before, that's something I've done multiple times before. Like, at least twice. Which seems kind of odd because how do you even do that? Series finales are the grand send-offs of the shows that they're a part of. Usually these episodes revolve around paying tribute and celebrating all that's come before, while also wrapping things up with a nice bow. Sending characters off in different directions, resolving issues, season and even series long plot points finally coming to a conclusion. A TV show's last episode is usually filled with big gestures, as this is a gift to the fans. A thank you and goodbye. Or at least that's what they're sort of supposed to be. But what happens when a show doesn't make a scene on its way out? Never announcing its exit, but instead silently going off into the night to never be seen again. Today, we're gonna find out, because that's exactly what Everybody Loves Raymond did. I don't even know where to begin when describing this finale. I think it may legitimately be the worst that I've ever seen. I know that I kind of title all of these videos, they're all part of the same series. This had the worst finale, that had the worst finale. But genuinely speaking, I think this might be the worst series finale of all time. It's crazy that this never gets brought up in conversation of the worst series finales because I think at the very least it's a very promising contender. I actually think the fact that it doesn't get brought up in conversation is not because it's not bad but because it's not even worth remembering. I'll break it down for you like this. Good stuff is worth remembering. Bad stuff is worth remembering. But bland stuff gets left by the memory wayside. And that's exactly what we have here. A waste of memory. The show's final episode wasn't anything special. As a matter of fact, it almost feels like they intentionally went in the opposite direction. Now, some of the times, shows have an extended runtime for a final episode. You know, maybe they do a two-parter or just add 10 minutes to the running time to really emphasize that this is a big event. But they usually do something different. Uh, Everybody Loves Raymond did not. You know, which is fine because not everybody does that. But also, despite what the title may make you think, not everybody loves Raymond either. So if we're not given more in quantity, maybe we're given more in quality. Maybe instead there's going to be something of consequence that happens in the finale. You know, like something's got to change. Something big has to happen. Well, you would think, but you would have thought wrong. When looking back at the show, I actually didn't remember how it ended. So I decided to look it up and check. And after reading the synopsis for the final episode, surprise, surprise, it was this episode I'd seen a handful of times growing up. And one that I remember watching. I specifically remember from when I was younger, noting that this felt like a throwaway, watered-down episode. Actually, it was one of the first times in my young life that I identified what I thought was a filler episode. Except it wasn't. It was the show's grand finale. So I decided to rewatch this episode again to see if it still holds down. And what do you know, it absolutely lived down to expectation. I'll just tell you the plot, and then you can tell me, again, in the comment section below, if you think this sounds like the plot for a final episode of a nine season long show. So, uh, <clears throat> here we go. Ray gets his tonsils taken out, and that's it. That's it, that's the plot. So like, does this seem like it matters at all? Conceptually, this plot is a generic trope. And in execution, I can't act like they really did anything special with it either. Make no mistake, I'm not saying this in regards to the cast. They're still as funny as ever, even if this script is not. There are a couple genuinely funny moments throughout, and almost all of them are Robert-centric, so... I think that speaks for itself. But between the plot itself and the actual script, everything about this last episode feels so incredibly uninspired. This just isn't compelling. However, they do at least try to do something with it. During the surgery, there are some complications that occur. And for a very brief window of time, the staff find themselves unable to wake Ray back up from the anesthesia, which causes his family to immediately go into a frantic panic. You could easily see how this moment could lead to some tension, even though a lot of people sometimes stall when waking up from anesthesia. I should know, I'm one of them. It's really not a cause for concern, I promise you everything's fine. 
As a matter of fact, I kind of think the nurse might have jumped the gun by alerting the family this early on. But this moment is actually pretty intense. We really see the cast come together and actually act as a concerned family would in the same given situation. It's a surprisingly dramatic moment for a show that was decidedly campy. The family carries themselves with such authenticity, probably brought on by years of working together and feeling like a genuine family full of people they have real life connections with. So for that short period of time, you really feel like you're watching real life events unfold. For a second there, things look dire. But that's as long as it lasts, just that second, because immediately, that moment is undercut. Like me anytime I have to say something sentimental. As the doctor comes in and announces that everything is A-O Ray. Seriously, this all happens in the span of a minute or so. Just when it seemed like the episode was going to surprise us, it did. By not surprising us and immediately going back to the status quo. Ryan Johnson, eat your heart out. Now, it's important to note that Ray's mother was in the bathroom during the time of this incident. So as soon as Ray's health is confirmed, the rest of the Barones decide to not let Ray, or his mother Marie for that matter, know about his health scare. Because neither one of them will handle it well. And let me tell you something, coming from an Italian family, I can confirm with this dynamic, that's a very reasonable thing to do. I, I understand the decision. You should, you should try to avoid that if you can. These two will just continue to work each other up until both of them are convinced that Ray is dying. It's just, it's just not going to be a good situation. So sort of a godsend that neither of the two knew about it. But of course that plan immediately falls apart when Ray's wife Deborah spends his recovery time lovingly gazing at him and almost breaking down in tears when she remembers that she almost lost her husband. And at the same time when Ray's father Frank gets uncharacteristically sentimental and alarms his wife who makes him fess up. Marie then responds by running over to her son's house across the street and hopping in bed with him and his wife. Okay, I, I know how that sounds, but it is, it, it is slightly less bad. Frank then has to further fess up to Ray, who predictably also doesn't handle the news very well. Both Ray and Marie act manic, eventually waking up Robert and Amy. Ray questions what everyone did when they thought he was dead, which apparently they all did. Again, it just feels like a little bit of an overreaction here, but alright, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, whatever helps me get through this video faster. Upon hearing that everyone was deeply concerned for his well-being, upset at the thought of losing him, Ray is satisfied enough to drop the whole issue, and that's it. He's over it. Problem solved. The last minute and a half of the episode shows the family sitting together at the table. And it's interesting because the final scene of the series feels less like the end of an episode but rather the beginning of another one. Almost as if the show is telling us that the story still goes on. The Barones are going to live the rest of their days as a family and have all kinds of situations. We just won't be joining them on anymore. Which is kind of poetic if that's what they were going for. It's a nice way of letting the story continue without actually continuing the story. There are no definitive ends here. And I kind of love that. But outside of that, there's really not a whole lot to love with this. The last episode is so meaningless and mundane, it's almost like everyone just stopped caring. Like, yeah, we're tired, we've been doing this just short of a decade, let us come in, collect our paycheck, and get home to our loved ones. I'm gonna be very upfront and a little bit mean with this one. But this isn't just a bad series finale. This is a bad episode. This legitimately would feel like a filler episode if placed anywhere else than where it is. Just a meaningless episode that was half-assed out to further fill a season. It is mind-boggling to me that this is this show's final impression. A show that started off and survived on a high note, crashed and burned as it tiptoed to the finish line. How does one person call themselves a fan of the show and then watch this and not feel a little bit let down? I, I don't know. I really don't know. More people should be talking about this. I'm upset. Everybody might have loved Raymond, but nobody loved this series finale. No one even cared enough to remember it. But with all that being said, if you liked this video and would like to see more videos on the best and worst series finales, let me know in the comment section below by leaving a comment saying, I was your least favorite YouTuber, V Infuso, and I thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. I am vengeance. I am the knight. And that was V Infuso. Just remember, if you're not tuning in, then you're missing out. So, if you like the words that came out of his mouth hole, and you too would like to become a V-generate, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, nerds! And if you're not joining the fun, you're in for one bad day.
day. And you know what they say about having one bad day. <laughs> Catch him next time. Same bad time. Same bad channel. <laughs>